Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome back to Last Oasis. Okay guys, we have the Mollusk Walker, the brand new walker that's been touted as the brand new go-to for solo players. We're going to go ahead and check out what it takes to build it, is it really worth it, and do you, th do you think you're going to want to build one in the near future? Uh, guys, we had a Mollusk Walker build party last night with the clan. Everybody got their own uh, Mollusk Walker. Uh, I chose to do the armored legs and the heavy wings, which is going to give it more uh, tankiness. As far as tanking, as far as you know, a single player, a single player walker goes. The thing it carries like um, I think it's like 5,600 pounds, so it's like four times the weight of a of a dinghy. But you know, and they tell you in the description, they say you're going to sacrifice visibility for the sake of safety, right? So I've got my sticks right here in the front, and I got to tell you guys, you can't see jack squat in here. You really cannot. I'm not happy with this walker. I mean, it has some advantages. Granted, you, they have to crack it open to get to you, right? Let me go ahead and get my HUD back so you can take a look at this a little bit better. So it's got 14,200 health without being upgraded. Okay, the cargo space right here. Um, I, I did upgrade the cargo space to the, just the first tier right quick. So we've got 10 slots. You have a, a capability of having uh, 16 slots if you get upgraded to tier 2. And so, and your gear slots are going to be, you're going to have 10 of those. You have, I think it's, is it 160 water as it is right now? Yeah, 160 water right now. So you can have eight respawns. So, and it doesn't, I mean, it takes, for the base mollusk, it doesn't take a whole ton to build this thing, right? It doesn't take a whole ton to build it. Um, oh, by the way, you can get up, you can get the storage up underneath if you want. When you get to the storage, you just jump. There you go. You can get into it right there. Um, it will create torque. So I don't know how much torque it's going to create. I haven't gotten it upgraded all the way yet. But if we look at right here, it's really pretty pretty cheap to make. I think it's like 26, is it 26 or 28? That's a toboggan. 26 or 28 fragments to build. It is, um, and then it only takes another like 20 something for the bone upgrades. It's really super cheap. So for under 100 fragments, you can go ahead and you can get this walker. Um, the, the armored legs cost one tablet to get. And the heavy wings, the heavy wings cost one as well. Now, this is the only walker that can have the heavy wings right now, but they're going to add it to the other walkers as well later. It has 3,400 hit points for those wings versus the uh, the 1,200 that you're going to get for the regular small wings or the 1,600 for the medium wings. But it takes uh, 20 wood shafts, 9 rope, and 6 nomad cloth for the heavy wings. And the armored legs are going to cost you... 490 wood, 60 wood shafts, 24 ceramic shards, and 8 bone glue. It's quite a bit. Um, it took me quite a while to build this guy. But the, the mollusk itself only takes 570 wood, 12 rope, 80 fiber, 90 stone, and 2 fiber weave. Now, if you want the regular legs, it's going to cost you 140 wood, 18 wood shafts. It's going to cost you 47 wood and 28 fiber weave for the regular wings, So, which is not great, but it's not too bad. Bone upgrades are your pretty, pretty much your basic bone upgrades using your bone splinters, your hide, your fiber, and your stone. And your uh, your second tier upgrades are going to run you bone splinters, rupu vine, earth wax, and wood. A little bit of chitin plate. Pretty basic stuff as far as upgrading it to tier two, as far as walkers go. So not really much surprise there. So we're going to go ahead and I, so to get up on this thing, it's really super tall. It's one of the things I don't care for about it, but you know what? It's a, you know it is a bigger walker. So its profile is going to be taller along the uh, along the sands. It's going to be a little bit more or easy, a little bit easier for people to see you. I went with these heavy wings, even though they're to the side. The height of this walker is making it to where you you, you can be seen uh, super easy. I don't know if that's somebody that's coming over here or not. Maybe they're just checking me out. I don't know. Might be an abandoned walker. It probably is. All right. So I went ahead and I put a walker climber up here on this side. I also put one over here on this side. It takes a little bit to get in and out of this thing, so you don't want to necessarily have this for going after fragments. A lot of the guys right now are actually putting their sticks up top. They're putting them either right here or right here, and I haven't tried to put railings on this thing to see if you can protect yourself with the railings, but I suggest you try that out and see how that would work for you. Also, as you can see, this is a 28 quality walker. Which, if, if you don't know about quality, what that does is that allows me in the cargo here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this up. That's going to allow me to have uh, two extra slots of modules that I can add. Normally, you just have one. But for every 10 quality above your regular quality, you're going to be able to get w an extra stack of 10 modules to be able to do extra stuff with your walker. Um, I started off as a 40 walker. And then because I ran out of quality materials, it dropped it down 
to 28. Now, the body is the only thing that matters with quality. So um, when I put up the framework, I had enough quality materials to make it a 40. But then I ran out of quality materials, and it dropped it down to a 28. I had some quality materials, but they were in the 20s. So be aware that even though you look at, um, you put it up, you have, oh, I have this framework up, and it's quality whatever. If you don't have enough quality materials to keep that quality up for the body, it will drop it back down. Um, and, you know, vice versa, I can imagine you're probably going to be able to raise it as well so long as you have enough quality materials to raise the quality up for the body. But just the body. The wings and the legs, they don't matter. However, the, the legs themselves, they have their own quality because these are quality five mollusk walker legs armored because I had quality materials to do that. But my, my armored legs are quality five. That doesn't do anything. It doesn't really give any extra health. As a matter of fact, my wings themselves, oh, they are. They're quality four. But you know, 3,400 health right here versus the, the 3,400 health that they would be if they were normal. So it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, having quality legs, having quality wings, it doesn't increase the, 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 the hit points of this thing. And it's the same with the quality of the walker itself. You don't get extra hit points. It doesn't do anything except give you extra slots for you to be able to do extra things with the modules. So, yeah, guys, I am not happy with, my, with this walker. I will not be using this walker. I'm probably going to go to a stiletto, to be honest. Um, either that or I might go to a Falco. Uh, Falco is super quick, and it takes a lot more to do. But a Falco is 30 tablets, right? That's a lot of tablets to be getting. And so, and then plus you're going to need tablets for the bone upgrades and for the ceramic upgrades as well. Not to mention the armored uh, uh, walker legs that you're going to want to get. So at the very least, even with my client helping, I'm going to need to get 30 tablets just to get myself a Falco. That's pretty expensive, you know? So I probably am going to go with the, just with the stiletto because I've already got it learned. Yeah, I've already got the stiletto learned. So I can go ahead and I, I'm going to go with the stiletto, I think. Because, you know, it's got 14,950 health, uh, and you know, it's not that difficult to put together. I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to be able to make high-quality stuff. I'm going to be able to make a high-quality stiletto for fairly cheap, fairly easy. So I think that's where I'm going to go as far as that goes with, with, with my, next, my next build. But, hey, I'm all about you playing your own game, and I'm not going to tell you how to play your game. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Do you think that this, this cage is going to be worth it for the lack of visibility? I mean, when I went through trees and rocks, it was impossible almost for me to get through the trees from our clay base to the, to the edge of the desert and because I couldn't see where I was going or what I was doing. Do you think you're going to build one of these? Do you think this is going to be your saving grace here in, in Last Oasis as a solo player or as a small group? Tell me what you think in the comment section because I'd like to know. Also, guys, if you're looking for a clan in this game, if you're tired of being alone or you're tired of being in a small group, go ahead and go down to the bottom of the description, click on that Discord link, and a recruiter would be more than happy to help you. I'm going to let you go. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.